How about another round for Bruce Day Tuesday? Here is Hawk and Big Nate. I wasn't ready. <laughs> Neither was I. Uh, I wasn't ready, and I'm the one over here, like, controlling the board now. I know. You, so, should, uh, you should have known better. I should have been ready, but uh, I'm not. Here we are. Another uh, another round of Bruise Day Tuesday, brought to you by the Cellar Restaurant and Six Pack Store. <laughs> and uh, that's not where these came from, I don't think. No, they don't have a lot of these. No, they uh, they specialize in beer. There is another store that I'll be polite enough not to answer, say it, but it's in the same town. This is beer adjacent. And they have a lot. But I order a lot of this online. This right here, what I'm drinking right now, is the Athletic Brewing Pilot Program. If I'm not mistaken, you can get this on Amazon now. Ooh. Yeah, that was a little amazed. They, Amazon has an A beer. So there's that. If you're you know, a fan, some people aren't. Not is, I mean, so this, far. This I... is a triple IPA. Sorry, I'll just go ahead. And, and their pilot program. This won't be around long. I've learned that lesson. I bought a six pack. That one's interesting to me. That's a triple IPA. We'll uh yeah. We'll we'll see how that fares, but I I'm I'm very excited. So far, everything you've you've handed me has been really solid. This is the uh I'm going untitled art again because well we well, are already in there. Hazy I I P A. Let's which, see how uh, they do with that versus what's, what's the other I? Are they calling it a double I? Double, IPA? yeah, that's a double. Uh, that's a, such a cute way to uh to label and distinguish that. <laughs> the uh, one thing I found about this one, IPA. This one is is, is the smell. And I mean, I my smell's been on and off the last, you know, more than three years. So, but I was that. But reminding me of that is why am I drinking in a beer? What yeah. caused me to drink in a beer and become such an expert is drinking regular beer. So you know, I spent six years here doing a show once a week and going to breweries all over the world and dropping off Huck was here stickers. And I gave myself a little disease called AFib. So the AFib, so before I had COVID or anything, and uh, one day I'm wearing my smartwatch. And it says, yo, Huck, you're an AFib. I'm like, Ooh, what's that? So I look it up. What's it caused by? Alcohol. But let me tell you what's really caused by stress. I can, if, if I get a telephone call and right now, and it's like some problem, I go into AFib immediately and, and it doesn't matter. So I've come off no drinking. I'm, I'm to, you know, you just got to shop for the right doctor. And of uh, course my doctor don't tell him even though he can, he's within the range of this radio station. Don't tell him. He, uh, he tells him oh. about not to drink at all. Our, our phone's lighting up. I think it's the doctor. <laughs> not to drink at all. But uh, other doctors tell me, you know, four ounces of alcohol. So four beers, two shots. Two shots. You know, I do that. So you do half a beer, two shots. Like it's four different, it's two different types of alcohol. Like Right. So can you, you can double up then. Just got to call a different doctor. If I go, if drink. I go to the bar now. Back in the old days, I would do the show, and then I would go to the bar, and I'd have, you know, six beers, usually craft beers, and four shots. And then I'd go home and have a nightcap. So now I go to the show, I go to the bar, and I have two ultras and two shots, and that's all. And I think that, and you know, the bar's not going to give me any extra booze in the shot. <laughs> Let me assure you that that doesn't happen, no matter how much you say whatever you're going to get what you get that's the rule there's rules here well uh, yeah i mean that's that's extremely true it's 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 accurate uh, i mean i'm glad uh you after... probably haven't been to the bars lately of course you know i had periods of my life i was had kids and all we went to it was shortly after we did the christmas show like a few hours after we went to the bar for the first time i think since we've had children and uh first of all like it's it's a whole new game out there. Like now they're preparing your drinks table side and doing all these like cool tricks and stuff. Wow. It's like that movie cocktail with Tom Cruise. And yeah, it was a, Where was that? it was a twisted liquid in Blacksburg. And uh, I really enjoyed my time out there. Delicious Ooh, beverages. What they're out. doing is really cool. Um, also had some like cool little appetizers. So uh, granted there could be some bias because it was the first time in right, three right, years right. I'd been out to a bar, but 
definitely uh, enjoyed the experience, but um, I, something I'm, I'm really appreciative of is that, uh, you know, you've been able to find and enjoy non-alcoholic beers. Cause that was, that was when everything was going on with you, that was my biggest concern is, man, like Huck's kind of lost a part of his identity. Well, let me tell you something here. In June, July, when I first came out of, uh, you know, being myself, we were just laughing a minute ago before we came back on air, because I'm not myself, and I still have to have somebody go around with me and help me do stuff, because, you know, I forgot to turn my air on. So towards the end of the last segment, I was sounding a little less loud. It's because I didn't have any oxygen in my system, but I, I do now. But anyway, but uh, I couldn't taste, like, I did not like the taste this is going to shock you, of IPAs. And I I just didn't like IPAs, double IPAs, triple IPAs, barley wines. And it probably took till October before I started liking them again. I do like them now. See, I, I, I could see coming out of it not liking IPAs. Um, you know, in, in, in the times I had COVID, one of those things that was consistent for me, prevalent for me, is that I did, in fact lose my sense of taste so coming back ipas all i got was the bitter none of the flavor and and that did kind of bother me but barley wine shocks me because yeah barley wine it's not even necessarily the the same taste buds when right but i have this tongue thing i went to the emt but they couldn't help me it's like it's it's like half of my tongue is burned it's not really a burn but anyway it's a covid thing can we get you a donor tongue yeah that's what i need is that a thing? Can I get one from one of those Kiss guys with the Gene Simmons? Yeah, he's yeah. got that. He's not 40, using it. Yeah, they're on their like farewell tour, like yeah, fiftieth leg of give it farewell up. tour. No, I don't know what I'd do with it if I had it. <laughs> well, <laughs> now nah, like shock the neighbors. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Tell my my one year old grandson like stick his tongue out. That would wake him up. I'd absolutely, stick would. it back at him. Marr! But that's uh that's the thing. Yeah, I do like in a beer. Let me just tell you though. I, I bought some NA liquor. Don't waste your hard earned pennies. Not a thing, really. I can't imagine a scenario where if I'm going to liquor, part of it is don't get me wrong, I love bourbon. But if I drink a bourbon and I'm, you know, you, you kind of, if you're having a nice night to yourself, you pour bourbon in a highball, you throw an ice cube or two in there maybe and and you're actually like drinking but you want to feel that buzz you want to feel that warmth and oh yeah i feel like non-alcoholic oh, liquor, seriously like, do you get any of the warmth when you drink it no and i'm telling you the other thing is you know it's not <laughs> it's terrible no oh i don't go into afib when i drink fake bourbon. <laughs> when you drink bourbon you know you can feel it go down you can feel it hit your brain yeah and then me feel it in my heart it's just <laughs> wonderful no, and, and I mean it it yeah, that's that's something that's that's definitely tricky. I mean the only the only one I could see like potentially maybe fooling me is tequila just because I don't drink a whole lot of tequila and agave is such a uh uh easy taste to replicate. Yeah, I have to have my tequila now, I have to have it sweet. I usually use non sugar um sweetener. Mm. What is that stuff? Green stevia, trivia, yeah, stevia, trivia. One of and, those, and uh... I usually put a little lime juice in it. And it's like a little, really lime, a margarita shot, but not much margarita. But yeah, tequila doesn't give me a hangover. Never had no tequila and vodka don't really, you know, vod- I'm kind of limited to vodka's kind of my screwdriver in the morning drink or Bloody Mary. I'm not even like. You know, I'm very, very picky about my Bloody Marys. If I'm going to have a Bloody Mary, there better be a whole chicken in it. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it's got to come with a snack. Got, yeah, and somebody's got to put horseradish in it. It's got to be really good. Yeah. I'm not drinking a Zing Zang Bloody Mary. I just not a, my thing. Recently, I was in the, uh, uh, you know, where you go to buy liquor. Yeah, that place, liquor store. There was a... Uh, we are in Virginia. I saw those... Uh, you know, with their premix cocktails, they have this new thing. It's uh, Virginia made. It's called Moose Mix, and they're these individual cooler bottles of Bloody Mary mix. So basically, you open the bottle, you add your vodka, you throw it in your cooler, and you call it a day. And I don't know who makes it, 
but it's absolutely delicious. And they definitely use real horseradish. So you kind of get everything. The only thing is you absolutely have to add olives and maybe bacon. Oh, really? Yeah. Just because uh, those are both good. Well, yeah. And, olives, and it's yeah. your snack. Yeah. Olives are good. So what about, so we, we run in a situation where we didn't have the orange juice. And um, I'm on uh, diuretics, LASIK. Some people call it LASIK. I call it PISIK. I'm not sure I can say that, <laughs> but can. I just did. But that's, you know, as soon as they give you one, you head to the bathroom yeah. and continue throughout the day. But anyway, so well, I drink uh, uh, zero Gatorade. I was going to say Gatorade yeah. and vodka. You can't go wrong. We're like, I like, I'll take a good iron. He's like, we got no orange juice. I'm like, put it in the Gatorade. Put in that orange Gatorade. And I swear it's better. Plus, orange juice is bad for you and all that sugar and stuff. Oh, it's loaded down with sugar. And, yeah. if, and, and unless you're making it yourself, you're not going to find no real high quality orange juice anyway. So you may as well go with the Gatorade. Yeah. I mean, I'm always partial to the uh, lemon. We have a list, a travel list, and all the stuff on it. You know, a lot now it's like a lot of medical stuff. But one of the things on the list is frozen orange Gatorade with vodka. Well, that's a, I mean, that's an important thing to have, you know, any, any, any port in a storm, speaking of ports in a storm, these NA beers, I suppose we should get back to it. Of course, with the first round, we did the Pilsner and the wheat kind of uh, stuck to the more traditional and now we're getting more and you more can go first this time. towards the, uh, the craft style that we both know and appreciate and uh, the hazy double IPA, the IIPA as they're calling it an untitled art. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I like the Pilsner better. Oh. And I think purely it comes from the smell on this one. Like the hops smell almost kind of like they maybe went books. bad. Yeah. <laughs> it, do, it does. It smells like a kind of like when you walk into a library and you know they've got all these books they've had for years. It doesn't have the, uh, the crispness that I would like. It's still tasty, but uh, it's, it's not getting the highest score. I'm Big Nate Danger on... Uh, untapped which is how we rate things on a scale of zero to five and these are non-alcoholic beers so we have to dismiss that as a factor in our scoring i'm going to give this untitled art hazy double ipa we're going to go right middle of the road it's tasty it's it's better than i mean oduls is kind of my metric for non-alcoholic beers so the bar is low we'll, we'll give it a three there you go three is fair well, i'm over here with the again pilot program Tucker's Tropical Triple IPA. I don't know who Tucker is, but he's probably a cool dude. And the Athletic Brewing Company, you know, and I can't do, I can't jump around like I used to, but I'm, I want to be able to again someday. But these are, you know, they're kind of, they're marketing the fact that, you know, you can drink beer and still be in pretty good shape. Now, as a side note, Liz actually runs the, the carbs on these because we do a lot of low carb, you know, it is, New Year's, and I need to lose about 20 pounds now. Um, so she does the carbs, and I don't think these are, some of these are not particularly carb-friendly, and some of them are. So you need to check that, too, because usually if you're, a lot of people quit alcohol or cut back for their diet, so look at the carbs because you don't want to do too many carbs. I mean, I'm, I'm going to give this a 450, and I'm, I mean, it is pretty good. What are the, What are the carbs on that? What is good for carbs? I have no idea. Well, if you can get a beer. Okay, so uh, I don't know what this one is. I would guess around a 12, um, an educated guess. Like a craft beer, a uh, regular craft beer, a Bell's 200 ale is around 18. Okay. A so, barley wine or a big beer is probably around 28, 32. Okay, so, so this one's at 15. I've I've never fifteen yeah, yeah never been in a position maybe I should track carbs but uh, a a Bicolo Walter is four three four okay. so it's a Miller Light so you can drink like ten ultras a day and still lose weight on a low carb diet I have a friend that's lost seventy pounds drinking he drinks Miller Light every night for dinner he has like I think he has eleven what and that's his dinner every why, night why don't they market that. Which, yeah. I mean, you've got the Atkins oh, they diet, do. They you've do. got the keto diet, absolutely do. the Miller Lite diet. They absolutely do market that. Well, they can't say that. Yeah, they can't say certain things. Be irresponsible. That would be. 
All right. So, I mean, you you brought a lot of things to try. Let's have another thing. So, yeah, I mean, naturally. What the heck? I'm still sober. How about yourself? Yeah, I'm pretty sober. <laughs> All right. We're going to do another round of Bruise Day Tuesday. It's a three-parter today right here on 105.3 The Bear.